question with regards to evil that is a more precise question which is important for us to understand if we said that evil was created by human beings and Satan then we fall in the realm of those who believe in more than one God more than one creator like the Zoroastrians of Iran of Persia the Parsis who believe in a God of good Ahura Mazda and a God of evil Angra Manu because they didn't want to assign evil to God they gave the creation of evil to Satan elevated to the status of God Allah tells us very clearly in the Quran he is the creator of everything nothing takes place in his creation except by his permission so who created evil where did evil come from it came by the permission of God it came from God God permitted it to take place so what does that mean do we have an evil God here no God is good and every evil incident which takes place has behind it an element of good for which God permitted that evil to take place as they say every cloud has a silver lining the silver lining this is the good that is behind the cloud this is what is illustrated in the story of Moses and Khidr Surah Al-Kahf which we are supposed to read and reflect on every Friday in it Al-Khidr seeks to learn from or seeks to teach prophet moses some of the knowledge which allah had revealed to him and moses promised to be patient with khidr so that he could learn properly from him he and moses crossed a river in a boat the boatsman kindly took them across when they reached the other side and the boatsman walked away al khidr took an axe and broke a hole in the boat prophet moses was aghast he said why did you do this this is not a good thing al khidr told him didn't i tell you you weren't going to be able to be patient in order to learn from me really he said oh sorry then he later explained to him that after they left there was a tyrant coming down the river a ruler who was a tyrant who was snatching the boats of everyone all of the boats that were moored at the shores of the river he was capturing them all and of course when he came to that broken boat he said oh don't need that one it's got a hole in it and he went on and took the others and the owner of the boat of course when he came back to his boat and he saw the hole in it first he would have said ah what a horrible thing hey, somebody made a hole in my boat who would have done such an evil thing but then when the tyrant came and left his boat what did he say then alhamdulillah there was a hole in my boat turned around what he thought was evil turned out to be a good thing and how many times in our lives have we not experienced things similar i remember there was an article in the newspapers from egypt 
where it showed a picture of a young man standing with his father kissing him on the right cheek and his wife kissing him on the left cheek and he had both thumbs up and he had this huge smile on his face I read the article the article said that this young man was about to board a plane in Egypt the last flight going to Bahrain he was a teacher in Bahrain and he was to catch the very last Gulf Air flight flying back to Bahrain if he missed the flight then he would lose his job so when he rushed to the airport the previous morning with his bags all packed he rushed through he got his tickets everything he went to immigration and the immigration officer as he opened his passport looking at the various stamps he said you're missing one stamp one stamp said, all the stamps are here he said no there's one stamp missing oh no he's shattered can I get some money can you take a hundred pounds can you? no you can't get on this flight you're missing one stamp he's crying my job he falls on his knees begging the man please let me man said no way he finally gets up shattered going home meeting his family everybody crying he was the one who was working in Bahrain earning money which was coming back benefiting the whole family then the next morning in the newspapers the news came that flight that Gulf Air flight crashed no survivors so the next evening edition of the paper you saw him there thumbs up big grin happy what he thought was a calamity half a day ago turned out to be a mercy he was very happy about it and that's life isn't it we find many many examples like that in our lives where something seems to be evil and we find out shortly or sometime later that in fact it was a good thing that's one example of good and evil there's another example of good and evil where you can't figure it out evil happens and you can't see the good that's in it and that was in the story of Moses and Khidr after they left where the boat was they went along the shore and he came across Khidr came across a boy a boy about 11 years old and he grabbed the boy's head and he tore it off he tore the boy's head off Moses was shocked how could you kill this innocent child a child who hasn't even reached puberty is not held accountable how can you do this Heather told Moses didn't I tell you you wouldn't be patient oh sorry 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 anyway he went on to explain to him that the parents of this boy were two righteous people who this boy would grow up to create such a trial for that it would drive them to the verge of disbelief he would make their life a living hell so Allah instructed Khidr to take the boy's life of course in the case of the parents when they saw their son decapitated dead they would have been shocked they would have been hurt Allah gave them another child a girl who loved them stayed close to them etc and they appreciated that but 
there would always remain that hole in their heart for their son who was murdered. And it would not be until the day of judgment when they stood before God and the truth about everything was revealed to them, they would realize